Thomas was reportedly on prescription pain medications when he died. According to the Mayo Clinic, nearly 70% of Americans are on at least one prescription drug. The majority of those drugs are used to relieve pain, and more than half of Americans take two prescription drugs. So what's causing people pain? Good question. We sent John Lordson to find out. John, what'd you, uh, what were we able to discover? Well, that number seems really high, doesn't it? Does. it? Essentially, 7 out of 10 people take a prescription drug. Painkilling opioids are some of the most common prescribed. The reasons people take them may have to do with the overall age of our population. Does that number surprise you? Uh, no, not really. The high number of people taking a prescription medication may not surprise you, but the lack of knowledge about what painkiller meds can do might. Not only do they relieve pain, but if taken in excess, they can decrease your respirations and lead you to stop breathing. Dr. Joanne Lees is a medical toxicologist with Hennepin County Medical Center. In the last several years, there's been a huge increase in the sale of prescription opioids. Those include morphine, oxycodone, and hydrocodone, among others. I know chronic pain is an issue. My wife actually deals with a lot of chronic pain. And there are reasons why we may be seeing more cases of chronic pain than ever before. The population's aging. We're living longer now, so maybe we can have more conditions that are debilitating like arthritis. With advancements in medicine, more surgeries are taking place. Baby boomers who are becoming senior citizens may require hip and knee surgeries. Medications are then prescribed to relieve the pain. Chronic medical conditions can affect that, the way your body reacts to these medications and can leave you at risk for overdose. Dr. Lee says your body can become both physically and psychologically dependent on the drugs. And if it doesn't take away the pain, the next time in another couple of hours, you'll take another one. People who have a family history of addiction are more likely to become dependent on prescription medicine and seek more of it from their doctor. It's important to know that we can curb this epidemic and then we can work to make sure that people are taking their medications safely and that they're not dying from medications that we're prescribing. Dr. Lay says you can be at risk even if you aren't addicted to a prescription pain medication. That's especially true if you have a chronic condition already. So a lot to obviously take in there. And Dr. Lays doesn't see opioids ever really going away, but she does think prescribing practices will get better over time, hopefully allowing people to become less reliant on prescription medications to relieve their pain. It's a huge yeah. issue right now, it really, is, especially yeah. in the medical community. Yes. So yeah, yeah. a lot of things are brought to light too. So. Yeah, like this. Thank yeah. you, John. Uh, if you have a good question for John, you can email it by going to wcco.com slash links.